I have said before that I had some sort of second thoughts about signing Bernardo Silva and I say that because we do have a lot of options on the right side and with La Mina Mal being so promising I'm like do we really need Bernardo Silva but at the end of the day once we do sign Bernardo Silva there is no negatives from signing him like at all like yes could it decrease the minutes of our other wingers of course it can but at the end of the day the first team football results will not digress and that is the one thing that does matter towards Xavi Hernandez right now and so I know that I haven't really talked about Bernardo Silva in the past few days and so that is the reason why I do want to make this video talk about the latest regarding Bernardo Silva and also with Dembele and then finally Vitor and so to make this very clear Barcelona's intentions right now is to offer Manchester City a loan with a mandatory buy option on July 1st 2024 that is what Barcelona want to do because Barcelona understand that they're gonna have to spend a lot of money in this summer to acquire the player and if City does refuse then Barcelona will try to sign him now and for that the necessary salary space must be guaranteed meaning that Barcelona are going to have to do a lot of work once they do sign the player and they're gonna have to generate the salary space so if that loan option does not go through and Man City are asking for money up front it says here according to sports that Barcelona are planning to bid 65 plus 10 million euros in variables for Bernardo Silva and for that to be paid in installments and with this bid Barcelona have also notified to La Liga what they're going to do and their intentions of signing Bernardo Silva his contract will be 10 million euros to 11 million euros for three years plus one year so this basically means that Barcelona in gross salary will be paying him 10 million euros per season for three years which means it will take a total of 30 million euros that Barcelona will need to generate in the wage bill so it is a big investment but I just think that with him coming in it's going to complete the squad I think that if Bernardo comes Barcelona would be so complete with Bernardo with Pedri with Gavi with Frankie with Ansu Vitor and also with Lewandowski we would be having a huge attacking force and the only thing that would be left from there is for Xavi Hernandez to really nail it and get it right to have all of these players have great chemistry together because if we can win La Liga with the players that we had in the previous season knowing that they were one of the youngest teams in La Liga then we can definitely win even more trophies with these added players with Oriol Romeo with Bernardo Silva with Gundogan all of these veteran players it would definitely give this squad the upper edge and with the inclusion of Bernardo Silva it would be amazing to see like to have Pedri and Bernardo on the right side just creating constantly generating opportunities for our strikers it's going to be one hell of a team like if I was Real Madrid or if I was Atletico Madrid or if I was Inter Milan or AC Milan or any other team in Europe I would be scared I would I would be scared about potentially facing this Barcelona side and and again that's if Xavi Hernandez gets it 100% right it's going to be up to him if things fail with these transfers and we end up not winning a lot and we only win La Liga it will be a failure on Xavi Hernandez because at the end of the day he also asked for these specific players and so yes it's true that th these investments are super high but can it guarantee us sporting success I strongly believe that it can now Manchester City again will not make it easy Pep Guardiola even had some things to say about this transfer and this is what he said and I quote I don't want any players who don't want to be here but we need to get a proper offer we didn't get a proper offer Barcelona will for sure get on a plane and come meet with the club meaning that Pep is welcoming for all of the negotiators from Barcelona to come to the club and to negotiate for Bernardo Silva and also talk with the coach because it will be a huge loss for Pep Guardiola so we'll see how things do turn out at any moment or within any hour things could really change for this operation whatever updates do happen regarding Bernardo and Barcelona we will be talking about it here in this YouTube channel and so now let's move on towards Vitor and it is official that Barcelona do want to bring Vitor at all cost in the summer they're not willing to wait yes the original idea was to bring him in January 2024 or worst case scenario in the summer of 2024 but they want to bring him now I, I think that one of the reasons why really pushing for Vitor to come is because they saw how Lewandowski is playing maybe they're thinking hey look we're not always going to get the best from Lewandowski and we cannot only rely on just one number nine and so that is why Fabrizio Romano did state that Barcelona do want Vitor Roque as soon as possible and this is a huge possibility after the sales of Dembele and Frank Kessier. Frank Kessier will be going to Saudi Arabia and Dembele would also be going to PSG and so like I have said this whole thing about Dembele leaving it is a blessing in disguise and one of the first few things that Barcelona will definitely do would be to register the players that they have and one of them is going to be Vitor. Now for those of you guys who have not really kept up with the Vitor operation I just want to remind you guys one thing two things do need to happen in order for Vitor Roque to join us in the summer. Point number one would be for Barcelona to actually want this to happen in the summer which they do and point number two would be for Atletico Paranense to be knocked out in their Copa tournament because if they continue to progress through this tournament the club of Vitor is not going to want to let him go and they're going to 
to say there's no way that he's going to move to Barcelona right now. We have a competition to play for and they have every right to do that. But if they get knocked out, they will no longer say that they need to keep Vitor. And if Vitor wants to come to Barcelona, everything else will go into its place and we'll see the operation unfold. So moving on towards the last thing I do want to address and we're just going to move on from this very quick and it is going to be about Dembele because we kind of feel already moved on from Dembele after the amount of players that are emerging onto the scenes. But as for the latest regarding Dembele, it says here, according to Ferran Correas, that Barcelona have offered Dembele a renewal until 2028, right? We know that with a significant salary increase, but Sissoko, who is the agent of Dembele, sent a counter offer asking for well over 20 million euros net, right? So not gross, but net per year. Once Barcelona knew that, they considered it as an insult and were very upset by the lack of gratitude shown by Dembele and the agent. And so this is coming by no surprise. Of course, the agent was going to be asking for 20 million euros net for his player, even though we, you, you and me know this, that Dembele did not deserve that type of salary. You know what type of salary that is? That is a higher salary than Lewandowski and almost reaches the exact same salary of Frankie de Jong. Like, yes, I understand that this player has been here since 2017. He's considered as one of the veterans. He's also, you, we could say, a world champion from 2018, but by no means is, is he a player that we need to pay 20 million euros for. He has not proven that yet. But don't get me wrong. Like, yes, has he improved? He has improved, but he has not been considered as one of the top five, top 10 best players in the world. Never has he ever shown that to Barcelona. And Barcelona would not budge or bend over for any player, no matter how much they have improved from the previous seasons. And this also does show us that it's, it's proof, right? The agent and also Dembele, they were looking for the bigger bag because PSG were saying, yes, we'll offer you 20 million euros because that, that was the deal. That is how much PSG are going to be paying for Dembele per year. And because they said yes, that is why they moved to PSG. It's only about money. It's literally, it has nothing to do with Dembele thinking that there's a, there's a better sporting project at PSG. As a matter of fact, we heard some rumors about Luis Enrique maybe leaving PSG. I don't know if that's true, but it seems like chaos over there. And so I, it, it would make no sense. And it would, we, no one would ever believe Dembele saying that he's going over there only because he feels more comfortable there and he believes there's a spot there and that they can be European champions. It's just, no, that's a lie. It's a complete lie. He literally moved over there and the agent wanted to go to PSG only because the bigger bag it is at PSG. And so if you're looking for money over sporting success, Barcelona wanna, want to have nothing to do with you. So that is going to be wrapping up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.